literally, as you'll see. Whatever misgivings the Coventry players may have had about their ballet classes, it hasn't affected their form. Last week, they beat Luton 4-2. This through ball from Platinum was well picked up by Terry Gibson, and he was away with only the former Coventry goalkeeper Seely to beat, and Coventry were one up. Then it was Dave Bennett on an excellent run on the far side. Again, Gibson made the space, and again, Gibson made it a goal. The only black moment so far in the career of Stuart Pearce coming up now with one of the best-headed own goals you'll see in a long time. Then Dave Bennett set Coventry away again and on their way to their third goal. He made the running and then Mickey Jen defied everyone, including the near post and the goalkeeper, to make it three. A mix-up in the Coventry defence put Luton back in the game. Allardyce missed it first of all and then the ball bounced back off Suckling's head and over the line. Dave Bennett had the last word, 20 yards out, he decided to try his luck, and Seeley was grasping at air. Well, after the success of the Sky Blue Ballet, Coventry City have tuned up for Liverpool by working out to something that's just a little more up-tempo than the Sugar Plum Fairy. For most teams, preparing for Liverpool's visit is akin to the eager anticipation which most of us feel at the thought of seeing the dentist, hence the Brazilian influence. Inspired by the loose-limbed athleticism and agility of their famous soccer stars, Roger Spry created routines which are not only fashionable aerobics, but useful exercises which help relieve the boredom of daily training. Among the fresh faces who brought a new hope and a new high to Highfield Road, one fresher than most, at 21, his origins humbler than most. As a schoolboy, Stuart Pearce trained with Queen's Park Rangers, their ground just yards from his parents' Shepherd's Bush home. Despite all the interest and the scouts, Pearce wasn't offered the chance to turn professional, and so split his time between working as an electrician for Brent Council and playing left fullback for Wheelstone in the Alliance Premier League. I find it a lot quicker than what the football I'm used to, and obviously the players are a lot better than the players I've been playing with before. But, uh, well, not so bad at the moment, anyway. I came in one morning and asked my staff to recommend left-backs throughout the country, and Brian Eastig, my youth team coach, recommended uh, Stuart Pearce from Wheelstone. They were playing at um, Yeovil the next day. I went down to watch um, Yeovil versus Wheelstone, and uh, was very pleased with what I saw in his performance, and came back next day and started negotiations. What was it about him that made you think he was the man for you? Uh, he made one great tackle and uh, I thought it was a tremendous application as well that he showed towards the game and he's got a good left foot which is very very rare. Tomorrow Coventry City fifth and heading the Midlands club's charge for the championship face their sternest task when Liverpool are their visitors. For Pearce in only his fifth league game memories of last week's spectacular own goal at Luton. For his manager Bobby Gould Liverpool is just another game but one in which Coventry says Gould have something to prove. Liverpool is the team in England. I think that all the lads will be uh, relishing the opportunity of uh, pitting themselves against Liverpool. You've done so well so far. I mean, if you get a good result on Saturday, will you feel very much vindicated? No, there's a complete season to go. It's a marathon. Uh, we've gone a long way in a short time. I think the players are starting to enjoy their football, but winning is enjoying and not only that they're competing and i think the coventry supporters have seen them compete away from home i don't think we've played well at home yet but we just hope during the next few games we can put it together nice. in the high